Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to season two, the premiere of season two, se season premiere of Global Thursdays episode. Oh, I just started again. Okay. Hello, everyone. I, was, I said, what did I say? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, like HM, the K pop fans, that's ET127. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it how he does it. Okay, let's go. Um, so welcome to the season two premiere of Global Thursdays, episode uno, dos, cuatro, uno, 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 dos, cuatro, uno, 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 dos, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, uno, uno, <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a really quick one, as you can tell from me already rambling. <laughs> it's going to be, um, we're doing pistachio pasta. It's Italian, starting off with a really nice one, but really simple. And because of, I'm going to bring the microphone a bit closer as well, y'all. That's better. So because... Feel free to comment in the live comments. Does it go that way if I do it or that way? Um, and I'll respond to you as well, live. Pistachio pasta, it's very straightforward. Shout out to Julia watching in England because da da da. This one is a vegetarian dish. It's not a vegan dish, it's a vegetarian dish. So like I said, hopefully it's gonna be quick. Quick in my standards. Let's start the cooking, people. So the first thing we do is have unsalted, well, we have, unsalt, uh, we have pistachios. Other pistachios are available. And um, we're going to uh, pound it to dust in a pesto and mortar. These are always fun. Hi, g'day Mitch. Hi, Debbie Whips. <laughs> Hi, Julia. So I don't know if you heard me, Julia, but vegetarian dish. Said I'd do it. I'd bring him, I'd do it for my loyal viewer. Oh, je ne fifi's on. I wasn't gonna, I was like, I don't know. I'll share, but I'm like, sometimes I know you're getting notifications. So I'll, I'll, I was waiting to see if you were like free enough to watch because it's starting a bit later. Um, there was already dinner reserved in this place from someone else. So I was like, well, I'm going to make this anyway once dinner's over. So it's a little bit later, but it's going to be quick. So it's going to finish like <laughs> the time it usually does, I guess. So shout out to everyone watching. Welcome to the season two premiere. Um, how much pistachio? Was I going to do? No, I'll just do it regularly. I'm going to add a bit more. I'm not doing. So how much is this? 50 grams. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I put a little bit extra. I'm gonna do like a little bit extra, like just a just a tad of extra in everything this time. Because I'm gonna have a t I know that the amount of spaghetti I'm gonna have is a little bit extra, so just a tiny bit. So this is gonna be fun. It's always fun to this and nothing happens so you could all watch me spectacularly fail or maybe it's easier to pound pistachios like I always say going into this season two I'm still not a foodie I'm just a food curator <laughs> I have no skill in being a foodie my only skill I guess is picking dishes that kind of look and taste good and then failing at it, messing it up spectacularly. But you get to watch me fail, and everyone likes to see someone fail. <laughs> so everyone likes a bit of Schadenfreude. I'm happy to, to be that vessel. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my, to this lovely light, new light, handmade, not by me. So what's people saying? 
Julia said, great to see you making a veggie dish, Mitchell. Thank you. Julia said, you're looking forward to season two Global Thursday. Hi, Carrie Ray. Yeah, Deb's on. Hi, Deb. Shut up. Up there. Now, does anyone have a trick to pounding this into dust? <laughs> I think this is going to be like the hardest bit of the, the night. So we've got seven people watching for the premiere. Wow, that's big numbers. The ratings are going up. That's like, you know, Trump ratings there. Because <laughs> you know how he's like obsessed with the numbers? Like the ratings. Oh, it is kind of getting dusty. Like, Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit hard. Oh, gosh. If anyone's got any song requests, let me know. Because I'm kind of, I've got nothing. i got nothing tonight. I don't know. How am I going to pound this to dust? I'm going to lose viewers. Maybe I should do that after. Um, well, I've got to put it aside. <laughs> but now I'm going to chop the garlic just so I don't lose, like, big viewers to begin with, I guess. Here's a garlic. Garlic. can't see the garlic. I guess I'll do this for now until I find the garlic. Julie is requesting a Kylie song. We're going we're gonna to make this a Kylie show. It's getting dusty. It's just taking a long time. So, yeah, this time, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail, but Genefifi is featured in my thumbnail. And every episode I'm going to change the picture, but from now on that's going to be my general thumbnail because every episode I'm like, how do I make a thumbnail? And I usually put a picture of, like, what the dish, like, last time I made it and I'm like it's kind of like a bit of a spoiler I feel like to see what it looks like so I'm just gonna make like that thumbnail my thumbnail which is gonna be like a collage of past like my highlighted looking dishes and then on the corner the bottom corner I'm gonna put a picture maybe I'll put it at the top maybe I'll do it next time like that I'll put a picture of me so this time it was with Genevieve and Pip I'll do one with Carrie Ray next time. And then I guess I'll do another one with Genevieve. Might do an old, some old photos with Genevieve as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Genevieve saying, take that pistachios. <laughs> it is actually, I didn't think I had the, the, the um, skill to pound it into dust but there is dust hopefully I can get all of it like that I must say I don't like this modern pestle is that what it's called pestle 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 and mortar this stick kind of feels chalky so it's like you know, if like I don't like the feeling of like holding chalk, so I don't really like even touching it, and so it's hard to put strength in it. I 
I think this is a very basic mocha and pestle. This may even be my brother's. My brother was obsessed with mocha and pestle. And I remember one year my parents got him a mocha and pestle for Christmas. And he was like, he was like 13 or something. It was his favorite gift. It's crazy. Genevieve likes a photo. Okay. Shout out to everyone watching. Yeah, it's good timing to do Global Thursdays again because I was like, well, with more people in isolation, there's nothing better <laughs> to restart this again. I guess pieces there still, I guess. So the next step is garlic. Where's the garlic? Right here. I just need a break from that. Okay. Put it away. So um, so I'm gonna put. I have. I'm putting. Okay, I'll tell you. So. I've got this spaghetti. Other spaghetti is available. Actually, we've never used a spaghetti, so it could be bad. I don't know why. We've got this. But okay. Um, so it's 500 grams. And I'm going to do boiling salt water. I'll just put some salt in and start boiling. I've got the water on the pot already, but I will just put it on to boil. And what's it saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So you just let it boil and then you put the spaghetti in, right? Where's the directions on it? I know how to do it, but sometimes there's... Oh, this is vegan spaghetti. Vegan spaghetti. Well, yeah, I guess spaghetti might have non-vegan. Um, you put in spaghetti after it boils, don't you? Yeah. And then how long do you put the spaghetti in for? This one doesn't have very good... Oh, okay, it says to do it for like 11 minutes. Okay, that's on the other one, but I'm sure it's the same. So I'm just gonna put this on. I'll put some salt in there. Hmm. Salt. Okay. 
And you know what you're saying? I like that you're cooking Italian. I just had a call between before and I have a trial shift at an Italian restaurant. Ooh, congratulations, Genevieve. On Sunday night. Yay. That's great. Okay. So I'm going to let the water boil for a little while. That's really good, Genevieve. Italian restaurant I think would be fun. I know someone that I worked with. Shout out to George. I worked with him at the cinema. And I think his dad owns an Italian restaurant. I don't know. But I saw him um, where I used to live in when I lived in Sydney. He lived, he worked at a, an Italian restaurant really kind of close by. And it always seems like a real kind of high energy place to work at. And I think like a fun, like but a fun high energy. And I think that's your kind of vibe, if I'm not mistaken, Genevieve. Okay. So in the meantime, so one clip of garlic, peel and chop. How am I doing this? Pardon? Yeah. Hi, Mum. Do you want to come and say hi to your fans? I'm just using this to cut the olive, the garlic. I can say hi from a distance. From a distance. Hi, all. <laughs> There's other spaghetti there if you want to hear. Do I, I don't, do I use this knife to cut? Yes. I saw that. Should I use that one? Whatever you want. Um, you can use that. Okay. Oh, there's another knife over here. Alright. Oh, vegetable knife. That's more of a cook smell. Yeah. Okay. So. Bye. 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 Jerry says, Do you like singing Disney? Yeah. What what kind of Disney song you have in mind? You heard me say what? <laughs> Mum's like, there's a delay. Mum's watching. Mum came out of her, of her bedroom to answer something I was talking about on camera. And then she goes back in and then she comes out. She's like, there's a delay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what Disney song? Any really? <sighs> Any Disney song? Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh, why did I do that? But I, do you mean you probably want classic? <laughs> you probably want. Classic Disney. Okay, come from my mouse. <laughs> oh, where are you? I've lost the mouse. Sorry. Ah, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. Let's keep going. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. I wish I could be the perfect sun, but I come back to the water, no matter how hard I try. Every turn I'll take, every trail I'll track, every path I make, every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the line where the ski, <laughs> wait, see the line where the sky meets the sea, 
it caused me no one knows how far it goes if the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me one day i know if i go there's just no telling how far i'll go i know Everybody on this island seems so happy on this island. Everything is by design. I know everybody on this island has a role on this island. So maybe I can roll with mine. I can lead with pride. I can make us strong. I'll be satisfied if I play along. But the voice inside sings a different song. What is wrong with me? See the light as it shines on the sea. It's blinding. But no one knows how deep it goes. And it seems like it's calling out to me to come find me. Let me know what's beyond that line. Will I cross that line in the line where the sky meets the sea? It goes me. No one knows how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know how far I'll go. For yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you said Disney, that was the first song that came to my head. That's music and lyrics by Lin Manuel Miranda, and I love Lin Manuel Miranda. So, okay, did I even need to crush this? I just need to chop it. Okay. Well, I chopped and I crushed. Um, does anyone? <laughs> yeah, that was um, a contemporary Disney. Um, I have it up. Actually, it was the second song I thought of, but the first is like one that every, I feel like every male singer sings, but I'm, I'll sing that a little bit later. Is this even on? Yeah, fine. Okay. All right, cool. That's that's job to the end of extremity. So, um, I'll do a Kylie song as well that I was thinking of. I'm in a kind of songwriter, um, giving some shout outs to songwriters. So, I'll, I'll mention one of my favorite songwriters in a Kylie song. But next, um, Okay, sprinkle. Oh, okay. Oh, so you've got to crush the garlic. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle some salt, some sea salt. I only have pink sea salt, though. Would that be okay? I guess. Right, do we even have? Oh, yeah. It's not really, I guess it's not rolling sea salt. But, uh, Pink. So you sprinkle some sea salt on the garlic and then you make a paste. I go to the side of your knife yet. Make a paste by crushing the salt into the garlic. Well, I don't know why that would make a paste, but I, maybe it will. Let's see. <laughs> this might actually better. It's a little bit of a thin knife to do crushing. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm gonna crush it with this. Yeah, see, that's good for crushing. Does it make a paste? Not really. I guess it's liquidy. Maybe the salt does that. <laughs> Carrie, you are the perfect son. You go, Glen Coco. I was watching a thing about like the backstory of Mean Girls, and Tina Fey was saying that she wrote, she named a character Glen Coco 
um, with someone in mind who was a, a stage a stage designer in um, in where she did improv in Chicago. <laughs> and she names him Glenn Coco, and she said like. I, later, he's like, you know, everywhere I go, people go like, well, for you, Glenn Coco, you go, Glenn Coco. She's like, I hope I, like, didn't destroy his life. Okay, so then um, scrape into a large bowl. Okay. Should I do this? I'm going to do the see-through bowl because I can't see the... Yeah, Jeremy said, haha, life changed forever over a name. Carrie likes to shine in the bottle. Thank you. I love it. Um, okay. What am I doing? Scrape into a large bowl. Scrape into a large bowl. Okay. So I'm scraping that. I guess it's the garlic. It doesn't say scrape the pistachios yet. It doesn't say that. Maybe it means that. Okay. All right. Um, I only grate the lemon zest. So lemon zest, if I'm not mistaken, is just the skin of the lemon. Am I right? Am I right? I don't know how much lemon zest. Like the whole lemon zest? The whole zest of this lemon? Okay. <laughs> I've never zested. I know. Okay. I've seen people zest this. It's skin, right? Yeah. The whole, the whole skin of lemon, I'm guessing. I don't know if I'm supposed to put pistachios in this bowl as well. I have to read ahead. I'm glad you guys like the light bottle. Do you like this? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer it in, in gold or multicolored?
Genevieve says multicolored. Multicolored. Multicolor. What song am I thinking of? There's a song with that. What's the song? Multicolor. Everything's multicolor. Everything. I can't think, but I, there's a song that I'm like, ugh, what is it? It's not even the like how the melody goes. It was like everything is multicolor or something. Genevieve, do you know what I'm, what I'm thinking? <laughs> Multi I can't think, but this is song. Well, I thought of another Disney song, Genevieve. It's still not a classic Disney song, but it's kind of in between classic and now. And for the Italian of it all, I might do it. Just give me a little, I'll just com complete this. I think that's like, is there any more to zest? I feel like I'm now zesting like the liquidy part though. Sorry, beats me. Oh, I know. The song, the song that I just thought of is from that. Okay. When I sing the line, you'll be like, oh, I know it. I remember it now, but I won't give it away yet. Okay. So. Okay, so you don't put the pistachio stuff in here yet, which I still really kind of got to, it's not completely dusted when the dust is settled. <laughs> no one will know that song. Do, 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 do. That's a rap song <laughs> by Anton. Do you remember Anton Carey? And, and they made him believe that his song, this is on Big Brother UK, um, the first season that it was on Channel 5, which I think was season 11, I think, or 12. I think it was season 11. Yeah, season 11. And they had this guy, Anton, and they told he was a rapper, and they made him believe while he was in the Big Brother house that his, one of his uh, mixtapes was released and it went number it was number five on the charts they didn't say number one because they didn't want it they said like your song is number five your mixtape is number five on the charts and he was like oh and then the whole house task was to make him believe that that was true and so they had like a, a party like a, a concert like a launch concert on in the house and, and his saga winner I end up like listening to it on YouTube and I, oh, I used to listen to it all the time actually. It was like, um, so this is how my dream goes, getting more money here, getting more money there, get a meal in the air. <laughs> um, haters, haters where we stop something, a haters be playing when we win this game, 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 game. <laughs> and then they were like, uh, uh, we tricked you. I think it was his birthday as well. They were like, Happy birthday, it was a lie. We pranked you. <laughs> Your song never got released. And he was like, I thought something was up because that wouldn't be a song I would make my single. It was so, like, twisted. That was, like, the really, like, that was when they were more, like, psychologically, like, um, twisted on, on Big Brother, the UK one. Okay. Um, okay. So 50 grams of Parmesan. Okay. So this is going to be pretty small, really. Like, it's this serves four people, by the way. I should say that. So you might want to like double your ingredients or something. I don't know. It's pretty much this whole thing is not fifty yet, but I might. So what does I mix? Did they put in? Sorry, I'm only creating one of this. And the Parmesan cheese. Just not quite enough. Still not enough. <laughs> That's from a Disney movie. Where's it from? Atlanta? Still not enough. 
Jaffa? Is that, is that what Jaffa stands for? Okay. Oh, Julia, you, you vaguely remember that. And he was like, I'm a winner, A A I R, and I make it clearer. We've nearly done that. We've really, we've nearly done the album, and there ain't no fillers. I'm like, well, I like that line because I don't like an album and there's a filler song. I'm like, you only have 12 songs. How come you have a song that's a filler? Okay, this is kind of what is that? Oh, great! That was grated parmesan. This is shaved parmesan. Oh, it's a bit different. I'll just put a tiny bit of the shaved, I guess, in. All right. On a, it's, oh, yeah, it's boiling. Okay, I was like, is this water boiling? But it is. I can't even hear it. All right. Um, I'll squeeze in the lemon juice. Okay, so now we use this lemon to make juice, right? Okay. I have to say this, um, okay. Cool, we'll do that. Squeezing some lemon juice. Let's go. Okay, that's a good amount of lemon juice. And four tablespoons of oil. Extra virgin olive oil, which I guess seems Italiano. So, four tablespoons. Shout out to my brother Lachlan, whose favorite song as a kid was Mumbo Italiano. Hey, Mumbo, Mumbo Italiano, hey, Mumbo, Mumbo Italiano, go, go, go. To mix up the Giuliano, or oh, you call it crazy to the mumble like a crazy world. But the funny thing was, when he sang it, he would just sing it on loop. So he would be like, mumble like a crazy world. Hey, oh, mumble. <laughs> and he would just keep singing it on loop and loop and loop and loop and loop. Okay. Julie says her dad's favorite song. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Luke. Um, pick. Okay, <laughs> they're not picked, but they're herb leaves. Herb leaves? What's herb leaves mean? Oh, add the herb leaves. So we got fresh oregano or oregano. So we got how much of that? Half a bunch, I guess. I don't know what half a bunch is, like this. Half a bunch? I don't know. Got to chop anyway. I'll put this aside and I'll chop it. <laughs> Carrie Ray said, um, just asking Jennifer and Julia, do you find Mitchell's cooking shows relaxing? Oh, it's nice that you find it relaxing. Julia's is very relaxing and calming. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. Shout out to Aurora. Aurora was a bit camera shy recently. She's like, no pictures, please. And her mum was being a bit of a paparazzo. Because you don't add the stick for this, do you? Just, just the leaves. How long's it been? 40 minutes. I thought I would be finished by now. Oh my god. <laughs> um shout out to Lucky. Carrie saying shout out to Lockie and Alyssa. Genevieve says, I like the social aspect. And if I'm doing odd jobs around the house, I like to hear Mitchell talking. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. While I cut this, I guess I'll sing my, my next song. Um, so this one is a Disney song. And shout out to this person because they were going to have a song, a uh, uh, show out a reboot the series was going to have be rebooted and they literally filmed two of the first episodes and then it, a whole bunch of stuff happened the network wanted a more pg rated content and um they didn't want that and so they had some creative differences and the showrunner ended up being like well i'm out because i don't really I'm not fussed on writing another PG show like we did like ages ago. And the network was like, well, we don't want it any other way. And so then it never ended up happening. I'd love to see the two episodes that never went to air. Hopefully one day we can grab that. But anyway, this is going to be the song. Sing along if you know it. <laughs> Well, I'm cutting this. I might get the other thing as well, getting ready to cut, because it's cutting oregano, parsley. And that's it. The parsley. But how much of it? A bunch. Is this a bunch? I'm not very good with bunches. Like, what's a bunch? Okay, good girl, what's a bunch? 
Bunch has three different meanings. <laughs> Starting with the most common one, bunch can be used as a noun to mean a number of okay, things. Google. Typically, what is a bunch of parsley? How much, I should say. Okay, Google, how much is a bunch of parsley? On the website goodfood.com.au, they say, we went out and assessed parsley at the weekend and can confirm that the average bunch of parsley contains 12 stems, weighs 55 grams, and contains just over two cups of sprigs. Okay. To find out more, look for the link in your 12 Google stems. Google Assistant app. Okay, 12 stems. Okay, so while I do that, here we go. Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? Dance version, by the way, in my head. I can almost kiss the stars shining so bright. Then I see you smile and I go, oh, 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 oh. I would never want to miss this, cause in my heart I know what this is. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. I got somewhere I belong. I got somebody to love. This is what dreams are made of. Have you ever wondered what life is about? You can search the world and never figure it out. Oh, I've lost my happiness is no mystery and it's... Wait, what? That's not right. You don't have to sail the ocean. Oh, oh, oh. Happiness is no mystery. It's here now. It's you and me. Yeah. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I got somewhere I belong. I got somebody to love. This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> Open your eyes. This is what dreams are made of. Shout to the sky. This is what dreams are made of. Um, sorry. Then I see a smile as I go. Oh, oh, oh. Yesterday my life was duller. Now everything's technicolor. That's the line I was thinking of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I've got somewhere I belong. I've got somebody to love. This is what dreams, dreams. This is what dreams are made of. Hey, hey, hey now. This is what dreams, hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was dreams are made of. What dreams are made of? From the Lizzie McGuire movie. And if you don't know, it was very apropos because the Lizzie McGuire movie was based in Italy, in Rome. So it's a very Italian, <laughs> well, every Italian dies from me saying that 
The song for Lizzie McGuire, Bibi, is a very Italian song. <laughs> All right, 12 stems. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess this is a batch. According to Google, it's an average batch. Okay. Parsley, do you use the stems? I'm so bad with this herb stuff. A bunch is a handful, Kerry says. Kerry says, oh, I've kind of gone. Genevieve says, funny that you should mention Aurora. I'm currently brushing her and she hates it. <laughs> Uh, Carrie says, Mitch, Julia, and Genevieve, do you like Sia? Yeah, Sia is my like, I'd say if I had to pick the best vocalist at the moment who's Australian, I would say Sia. And I would say top five singers at, from Australia, she's one of them. And shout out to Sia who just announced that she um, adopted two teenage boys. Apparently she was... Um, looking to adopt children and she went to the adoption place and they, there were these teenage boys there that people kept coming in and, and, you know, they just kind of, no one ever wanted them apparently. And so she said that she couldn't leave without them. And so she said, I never expected to be a mother of teenage boys all of a sudden. But she, I think she just announced it or maybe I'm so, <laughs> I'm so behind. I think it maybe came up on something related and I just saw it, but I think she might have been. She might have announced that recently. I love um, her song Alive. But, like, she's been, see, has been around for a really long time. She's also someone, like, she was successful enough, but she was someone who's one of the few people that really shows, like, um, that it doesn't matter, like, how long you've been doing it, how old you are. Um, when, it's, when it's your time, it's your time. She's been a singer since 2000. She was signed to Sony since 2000, I think, or she was signed to a label. But originally she went to London and tried the UK music scene. And she was there for, she's been there for most of her career. She was there for at least 10 years. And then she ended up going to the US because I think she did, she did Titanium with David Guetta, I think. That was the timeline. And then she was featured on Wild Wild One by Flow Rider. And then um, people were like, oh, you're a songwriter as well. And so she started writing songs and she wrote for, she wrote almost either every song or almost every song on Christina Aguilera's Bionic album. So if you, if you ever listen to Christina Aguilera's Bionic album, which was like 2000 and I think 10, and if you look at the song credit, she's written either most or all of the songs on that. And Chris, because and that was because Christina Aguilera loved her so much, she just kept working with her on all the songs on the entire album. And she was like, "I love your vision." And then that's when they were like, "Hey," she ended up singing "Chandelier," which she was writing for Rihanna, but she did it herself, and that's when she blew up as a solo performer. So she's got a really great story. Um, and also I think it's a combination of her, like, anxiety, which is why she hid herself when she went into the U.S. market. But there's a great song from her in 2008 called Clap Your Hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. We go one chance. She's like, um, back then she was, like, kind of more, not folksy, but she was more just kind of like that earthy pop vibe, which a lot of Australians go for. She was more like, I guess, Sarah Blasco in a way. So, yeah, I'm guessing you don't cut these stems. I'm just going to do that. Sorry, stems. <laughs> and then she also had another great song by pre-US stuff called You've Changed. I love that song so much. You've changed, oh, for the better. Wait, <laughs> one key, please. 
You've changed, oh, for the better, yeah, yeah. You've changed, oh, for the better. You've changed, oh, for the better, yeah. I love that song. Stealing hearts was your heart, right? Stealing hearts was your pastime. Do 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 I ended up cutting the stem of the other the parsley. Like, I don't know. I'm just going for it. I'll be daring. What are people saying? Sorry, I'm not really. Carrie says, I love the song Chandelier. I don't know much about Sia apart from the Chandelier song. She's an Aussie. She, I think when she was in the UK, Julia, I don't know how much you know about like the music scene in the UK, but she was with Polydor, which is a UK label. Um, I'm pretty sure she was with Polydor. I'm going to look that up. And then somehow, I think she ended up getting a, con a, rec a record deal with Sony Music Australia, which is how she ended up branching out into the Sony family in the US. I'm pretty sure that was how she did that. And I love the song Alive, though. Alive is like, I used to, apparently Adele wrote Alive. I think she Adele was writing Alive for herself. And then she didn't use it and they gave it to Sia. I don't know if it's like the total version that Adele wrote for herself. But she said like, because it was such a hard song and she said that she wrote it with when she was with Adele during it. I guess they kind of wrote it together at some point or talked anyway and she's like spoke together. Um, she's like, Adele, how do you like... It's a really hard song. Like it's, it's a lot of high vocals for a lot of time. She's like, how do you do it? How do you sing it live? Like it's going to be a tough one. And she's like, I'll use, this, I'll use this as a mic. But she's like, oh, when I sing, I just go like, and when I get to the high part, I go to the audience and go. <laughs> and she's like, she's a genius. <laughs> um. Okay, chop the tomatoes into rough one centimeter chunks. Okay, so we've got kind of cool tomatoes. Technicolored. I think they're called rainbow. No, they're not. I have seen them called rainbow tomatoes, but this is mixed color anyway. Um, 400 grams of. Okay, this is. What was this? Because we actually have to add a bit. This is 320, and we've got a little bit more orange and red ones I'll add to it, but I've got to cut it. I guess I'll take this bowl away again, and okay, I'm going to shake. The water was just boiling. I completely forgot about it. Okay. And we won't be using that. I don't think. Cut? I'll just say cut. Cut into chunks. Well, it's going to go juicy. And then put in the bowl? Yeah, add to the bowl. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I very rarely like cut. Oh, yeah, it's okay. One, one centimeter chunk, I have no idea. I have no idea. What are the comments saying? Sorry. A bunch is a handful. That's what I got. I'm kind of slow at reading the comments. I'm in my own world. <laughs> okay, yeah. A bunch is a handful, more is best. How is my favorite British gal? Um... I don't know a great deal about Sia, to be honest. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, she she wasn't very big in Australia, so, yeah. Um, 
Julia says, I don't really, I didn't realize he had been around that long. Yeah, I thought Sia was more recent. The Aussie girl is good. Okay. Oh, $5, five super chat. Thanks, Carrie. You don't have to get into the super chats again. Yeah, I'm not doing one of those things. This is an interesting tomato. They kind of make me think of the characters in like Super Mario. <laughs> Do you remember those if anyone played them? Okay. The ones that like you weren't supposed to touch and they walked around like eh, eh, eh. Oh yeah, it looks like a tomato on the inside. It just doesn't I would never think that would be a tomato. I keep thinking of a song. Did I end up singing that? There is a song I want to sing, but I'll, I'll leave that for like maybe next week. <laughs> I've got two more songs I'm thinking. I guess I'll sing the other song while I'm doing this. It's my last Disney song. It's a bit more classic. But I don't know if I remember the, actually, no, I don't even know if I remember the verses now. I used to know the song. I don't know. <laughs> I was in, I only knew the chorus, so I'll just sing a little bit of the chorus. Not, not like seriously, though. Um, <sighs> it's so crazy. I used to know this entire song. I can't even remember the verses and the, the bridge. Um, oh, I kind of, I only know a little bit. Out there among the millers and the weavers and their wives, through the roofs and gables I can see them. Okay. Every day they shout and why? Wait, I'm going to bring it down, okay. Out, out there among the millers and the weavers and their wives, through the roofs and gables I can see them. Every day they shout and scold and go about their lives, headless of the gift it is to be them. If I was in their skin, I treasure every instant out there, strolling by the same. Taste a morning out there like ordinary men. Who freely? Okay, wait. Wait. If in this one. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sorry, I know the the first chorus better. Out there living in the sun, give me one day out there. All I ask is one to hold forever out there where they all live on or where what I'd give, what I'd tear just to live one day out there. That's from Hunchback of Notre Dame, the movie. But, like, every guy sings that song. <laughs> I'm sure if you go to an audition, they're like, Disney song. Every guy would sing that song. It's a good, it's just written so well that it always sounds magical. 
So I'm sure you could get any guy who's been a singer, especially as a boy, especially as a teenage boy, and they've sung that song. They've been told, like, they've been given that song to sing. But, yeah, I used to know the whole melody of that. I can't even remember how the verse and bridge goes, like, except for that part bridge. Like, like more credit. Yeah. Anyway, that's my Disney stuff done. Yeah, Genevieve's out there. Genevieve knows out there. That's because I, I was like, that's the one. That's, when you said Disney song, you were thinking like, you know, our childhood. <laughs> and I'm singing all these like, you know, Moana and Lizzie McGuire movie. And then I was like, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm sure Gen that's the kind of song Genevieve is talking about. Disney song as well. Um, Heart don't fail me now. Courage don't desert me. Don't turn back now that we're here. People always say life is full of choices. No one ever mentions fear. Or oh, how the road can seem so long. How the world can seem so vast. Encourage, see me through. Heart, I'm trusting you on this journey to the past. Heart, don't fail me now. Courage don't desert me. Hope, love, family. There was once a time I must have had them too. Hope, love, family. I will never be complete until I find you. Hey. One step at a time, one hope, then another. Who knows where this world will go? Back to who I was, on to find my future. Things my heart still needs to know. Yes, let this be a sign. Let this road be mine. Let it lead me to my past. Courage, see me through. Heart, I'm trusting you to bring me home. Hallelujah. That one always gets me really emotional, though, because I think of Leah, who sang the, the pop version of that song, which is Journey to the Past from the movie Anastasia. And, um, yeah, she was like, she should have been like, how old would she have been, like 17 or something? And just everything that happened after that with her, her untimely death. Okay. And put it in the bowl. But yeah, I know there's like a, the version from the film is like, heart don't fail me. I don't really know the, the movie version, but I know the um, Aaliyah version very well. I would sing louder, but really I'm singing too loud because my parents are like not too far away and I think they're trying to sleep. Okay, I'm just gonna put this all in. Anyway. Um, Kerry said awesome about out there. Did you know about Abuela? Uh, yeah, I know I heard about Abuela. But to be honest, I didn't even know about Abuela, that um, Abuela, who was a puppy, was after being trained as a greyhound, was sent to an adoptive family in New Zealand. Is that true? New Zealand or the North Coast? It was, it was a race puppy uh, greyhound I was sent to an adoptive family. I was so glad I didn't even know that that happened. So 
to me, I was happy to know that he, he lived a life. And, um, yeah, but it is really sad to hear that um, he had cancer or something and he died. He would have been nine almost. No, he would have been ten. He would have been ten and a half or ten. So, yeah. I'll put a photo. I don't know if I, I must have it. I think I have a photo of Abuela. I'll, I'll put it up on Facebook or Insta. I'm, I'm getting into Insta now, Insta stories, but I just like putting songs up. So I'm like, it's so funny. I put up a, like an Insta shot and then I'll see like, you know, like 10 people looking at, 10 people have seen it. And the next one is like three people have seen it. <laughs> like, wow. I really know how to keep an audience. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, basically that's it. And how we mix it. Mix it together, toss everything together. Here we go. This, by the way, if you can't see. Woohoo. With my fingertips, I'm just putting my whole hands in though. Fingertips, okay. Fingertips. It's my love. <laughs> That's a totally different song. Anyone know that song? That was back when Katy Perry was rock. It's my love. And I'm sitting on the sidelines watching it pass. Wait, the first is voted most likely to end up on the back of the milk box. Wait, voted most likely to end up on the back of the milk box. <sighs> Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. How's it go? Voted most likely to end up on the... I like this song. I don't know why. I just have fingertips. I should have gone like fingertips, like um, by by <laughs> fingertips by Dreamcatcher. I should have gone with that, which is um a K-pop group. But okay, I'm this taking too long. Very sorry, guys. Voted most likely to end up on the back. Wait, sorry. Voted most likely to end up on the back of a milk box drink. Looks like I'm letting him down. Cause seven, 75 isn't worth an hour of my hard working time when you can't afford half the sh they advertise. Oh, I'm worth more than an ex, more than a toe tag generation full of regrets. I won't settle. Oh, oh, oh. I won't settle. I want to break the mold, want to break the stereotype. Fist in the air, I'm not going down without a fight. It's my life. And I'm not sitting on the sidelines watching it pass me by. I'm leaving you my legacy. I gotta make my mark. I gotta run it hard. I want you to remember me. I'm leaving my fingerprints. I'm leaving my fingerprints. I'm leaving my fingerprints on you. It's not even fingertips. It's fingerprints. Oh, my gosh. That was me reaching for a song. Okay. Okay. I fingertips that. <laughs> What's the next step? Sorry. I'm going to really get to the move on. Okay. All right. It's saying taste and season to absolute perfection. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of pressure. I might... I'm going to bring the tray down as well because the tray is looking very messy.
Okay. Oh, Adrian was on. I'm so sorry. Hi, Adrian. Sorry, I've been really slow reading comments. Adrian from Poland. And I was just saying I was mentioning Abuela like on the Christmas Eve thing. Anyway, um, hi, Adrian. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if he's on. I'm also glad to have come back here. Oh, <laughs> Adrian's a regular as well now. Yeah, you called him, Carrie said you called him Abuela from birth and Ray changed his name to Toby. Toby or Jack? Yeah, Toby, sorry. Toby? Toby or Jack? Toby, right? I swear mum said Jack. <laughs> anyway, you and I were devastated about his identity being stolen. from. They changed a lot of the names. I named one of them Liz Lemon. And what did they? Ray named her Elizabeth. <laughs> it, Elizabeth is just such not a dog's name. Um, but, and, but Liz Lemon is. <laughs> that could have even been a race name. Come on. Okay. Adrian says you sing great mature. Oh, thanks. I'm really just playing around and I'm singing very softly as well. What's the weather like there, Adrian? Cloudy, but it's not raining quite warm. How's the weather with you? Uh, here it's hot, but it's raining, crazily enough. Um, and it's been kind of, it's, people are going to be like hot. It, this week it's been kind of hot and cold. You're hot and you're cold. Another Katy Perry song. Um, but yeah, it's, I've been having, I, like in my bedroom, I've been turning the fan on and then I'm like, oh, I have to turn the fan off. Like I say hot, I'm wearing, I decided to wear a jumper, like a sweater. So it's like, sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm cold. I keep having to turn the fan on and off and I feel like too airy if I don't have like a sweater on. So it's been weird. It's been raining all week. It's supposed to rain until Saturday and then it's going to get warm because it's the middle of summer here. So it's better than like last year. It was very hot and very dry and we had a lot of bushfires in Australia. So we don't have the bushfire thing to worry about this year, luckily. Um, like what's the temperature here? Okay, Google, it's going to tell me. It's going to say, okay, Google's going to say we live in somewhere that's not where we live. I don't know. It, it's somewhere, somewhere close by, but this isn't where we live. Trust me. Okay, Google, what's the weather currently right now? <laughs> Currently in Wollongong, it's 18 degrees and partly cloudy. Tonight, okay. the forecast is around 18 with scattered showers. Okay, so that's not usually what they say in the weather. It's the first time they've... No Technically, I don't live in Wollongong, but it's better than... They They usually say it's Fern Hill, and I think Fern Hill is like... It's a little bit north, but it's within the area. It's just 18 degrees, but it's my time right now. And in summer, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, anyway, let's just get on with this. I'm supposed to taste, I guess I'll get a spoon. Hmm. Wow. That tastes amazing. That tastes really good. It, all, it tastes like it, it's got dressing and everything. I didn't expect it to taste like that. I guess it's like the lemon and everything and the oil and the cheese and everything like that. Wow. It's really good. Okay. Well, it's just a season. I'll just put a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. Hopefully that's seasoning to perfection. Okay. Oh, okay. I was I gotta put in the spaghetti. I guess I'll move that. I'm gonna move you over. And you can watch the spaghetti being done again. Okay, move in you now. Remind me about the, uh, I'll bring the charger over, I guess. I have to move this with that.
in your back. So you just ignore this. This is where it's at. So I'll read some more comment. Adrian says it's probably six degrees. Genevieve says our lives have some parallels at the moment, Mitchell. I only recently referenced hot and cold with Natalie. Genevieve, something's up with us. What what's going on? There's some kind of weird energetic. Is this I saw you say something about was it Aquarius? Something about something about the earth and water? Or was that Pip? Someone put in like a, a zodiac um, kind of meme. Is something going on with the zodiac energy, the, the stars at the moment are aligning? Okay. Um, Carrie's saying 18 degrees and 10 p.m. here. <laughs> Is that a read? <laughs> it's really late. <laughs> Genevieve look, uh, looks amazing too. Oh, thanks. Looks lovely, Mitchell. Loving the taste test. You are a chef. <laughs> it's even warm as you already have the night. Yeah, I know, Adrian. No, that was me. He did the meme. <laughs> okay. Well, while that's boiling again, even though it boiled for so long, I'm surprised it's... Okay. This is my final song, and someone has a dying song request. But this is, I'll tell you a bit of a SPAC story. This is about my favorite, well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite songwriters, one of my ultimate favorite songwriters for a really long time, because I would look at a lot of songs that I really connected to. And this is back in, back in my day, I had CDs, and I had a booklet, and I would read the booklet, <laughs> the linear notes. The credits. And in brackets, it would say K dot. Wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you. To... But anyway, I saw the, the initial and the surname. And I was like, this this one person, this person keeps writing songs I like. Also, W Alpha Nassif. I always thought, W Alpha Nassif. W Alpha Nassif. And then he was Walter Alpha Nassif, who wrote a lot of Mariah Carey songs and, you know, wrote a lot of other songs. But anyway, this is about a, a singer, uh, a person who got a law degree and she got a job working at Billboard, I think in the legal team in the 90s in New York City. And she's like, I don't really want to be a lawyer. I'm really into music. But I guess she did something really cool and she kind of combined her two passions, um, like, you know, law and music and working in Billboard, Billboard magazine in the US. And... Anyway, she moved up and actually went off into working as an A&R, which is totally different. Um, but she, I guess she, she had a knack for it. And so she was working in A&R and she was like, hey, she approached one of her colleagues and was like, I don't know, like, I don't, I have no, like, big thing about writing songs, but there's a song that I wrote to myself and I, I think it's kind of good. Like, I don't know, I, I don't want to, like, do the wrong thing. I'd be like unethical, but could I give you a just this like just a hook to hear? Because I think it's something. And he was like, okay. So he gave her he she gave him a cassette tape, and then he came back and he was like, that's actually like really good. I'm gonna send it off to the head of whatever to to hear it, and they know like it's you. They know who you are. And so then they were like, okay, poor Abdul is gonna have a comeback because Kapoor Abdul was really big in the late 80s, early 90s. She had a lot of number one hits, and they were trying to find a song to be her comeback album in 99, 2000. And so Paul, um, uh, this person was like, oh, my God, I get to work. So they're like, you're going to actually write this song and write it around Paula Abdul and kind of uh, fit, her, uh, fit the song for her a bit better. So then she wrote with Paula Abdul. She wrote with a... Some other people, maybe I should name the other people as well because it's a whole process. You never really know, like, you know, 
I know of this person, but I'm sure it was a group process. And the, the people are Ira Schickman, Osborne Bingham, and Paula Abdul, and this other person. So they wrote it, and it was the first, her first ever song she wrote. And she was like, oh, my God. And then they did it. And then Paula Abdul's comeback in the early millennium never actually happened. And so they, the song got shelved, but it got put as an option, and someone picked it up, and it was Kylie Minogue. And it ended up being used for Kylie Minogue's millennium comeback in a brand new sound and it was a worldwide number one hit and I think everyone said ta-ta to Kylie at one point well people were saying ta-ta <laughs> and then she showed that she is um is ir irreverent is that the word or relevant she's relevant forever so anyway if you haven't worked out this song is written by one of my songwriting idols. <laughs> Sorry. Cara Diaguardi. And it was long before she was a judge on idol that I loved her. Oh, 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 ding a ding a net. I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. I know you're feeling me because you like it like this. I'm breaking it down. I'm not the same. I know you're feeling me because you like it like training my sorrow for some joy that I borrowed from back in the day. Threw away my uncles, got myself a better wardrobe. I got something to say. I'm a fool with the past. Ain't no point in looking back. The future will be. And did I forget to mention that I found a new direction? And love these back to me. I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. I know you're feeling me because you like it like this. I'm breaking it down. I'm not the same. I know you're feeling me because you like the mistakes I made. And giving me the strength to really believe. And no matter how I take it, there's no way I'm going to be good. Cause it's gotta be real I got love and left to hide No reason left to fight Cause the truth is in me I need freedom inside Get rid of my desire Do you like what you see? I'm spinning around Move out of my way I know you feel me because you like it like this. I'm breaking it down. I'm not the same. I know you feel me because you like it like this. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. I know you like it like this. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. You know you like it like this. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Woo, yeah. I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. I know you're feeling me because you like it like this. I'm breaking it down. I'm not the same. I know you're feeling me because you like it like this. Feel me because you like it like this. Oh, oh. I'm not the same. I know you like it like this. Oh, oh yeah. Like it like this. Like it like this. I'm not the same. Like it like this. <laughs> I'm not the same. I'm not the same. Oh, oh, oh. Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. That's from, I actually listened to that album a lot. The Light Years album, I had that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so 
yeah, hopefully you liked that history as well to go with the song, the background. Another one is word. So I'm going to put this spaghetti in. Should I go with the vegan spaghetti or should I go with the homophobe spaghetti? <laughs> Because I don't know, I don't know what the current stance is, but a family that used to own the spaghetti, I don't know if they do anymore, but they were strongly um, homophobic. So don't know why we have it, but anyway, definitely don't recommend. Um, vegan or I don't know. Let's go with vegan. Let's be daring. Okay, sorry, I've been, um, yeah, Julia says vegan. <laughs> okay. Wait, I've got to see what are people do. What are people talking about? Hmm. Genevieve says, nah, oh, yeah, sorry. Julia says, vinyl and cassettes back in the day for me. Well, it's really funny because I grew up in a generation where not vinyls, I didn't get the vinyl time. Um, I know vinyls are like making a comeback. They said actually last year, 2000, was it 2019 or 2000? Is that a 2019 or 2018? They said it was the first year in which vinyl seat since like 1970, 1980, something, 1970? I don't know, something like that. It was the first year that vinyls outsold um, CD copies. <laughs> so more physical vinyls were sold than actual physical CDs. Really interesting. Um, since like since the crossover of vinyl to CD, I think, or I guess whatever cassette, I guess was first. But um, I was kind of born in a, a time where I would play cassettes. For I would have cassette things very early on, though, because then people used more CDs when I was a kid. But I, I do remember having cassettes. I had cassette for a lot of things. I had cassette tapes for all these like weird kind of early nineties, late. It was more late eighties dance, like um, like <laughs> move your phone again to the music. You know that kind of like aerobics dancing. I don't know. I always call it aerobics dancing, but just very club. It was very clubby, like <laughs> that kind of thing. I don't know why we even had those. I used to call them like the workout tapes because it just sounded like workout dancing. But that was back back in the day where like. You know, people who went to the gym were like those kind of like, you know, into that aerobic music kind of thing. Um, but I do have a rec I do recall, I have a memory of listening to cassettes as well. And Carrie would remember me listening to cassettes. I feel like that was a thing I did a lot with like at her place. And I was always recording my voice on cassettes. I had a, like a, a, a cassette recorder with a microphone attached to it and I loved it and I, you push the record and play button and the record was a red button, the rest were yellow and the whole like, the whole um, thing was blue. I loved it so much and then when I, I got it, and then when I was four or five, Lachlan threw it in the toilet <laughs> and flushed the toilet. It didn't go down the toilet because it was so big but needless to say it was the death of the cassette uh, recorder. Um, and he did it because I think he found I was being so annoying on it. Okay. Um, um, okay. Adrian says, Mitchell, you need to check out Vicky. He sang great and recorded the whistle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still got to, you know what? I still got to do all that. I have a backlog of stuff I'm doing. And once I finish this thing, I'm on a project, which I'm going to finish and hopefully upload by the end of the week. But maybe mid next week I'll have it uploaded. I don't know. I was hoping it would be up by now, but yeah. 
I'm on one project, and then once I'm done with that, I can do other things, like I'll have more time to react to Vicky Gabor doing another song. Although I don't want to, like, always do Vicky songs, but I've done two. Have I? Two, yeah. Have I just done one? I think I did a second one. But I do want to do the one where everyone says she whistles. This is a dream. Is that the name of the song? I can't remember now. But someone did put it in the comments, and it is on my list to watch. So I am going to react to that. But thank you, Adrian. Um... And Genevieve said, Paul Abdul is just jealous, which is a reference to something I said earlier this morning. I'm glad you, you got that reference. I was like, I don't know. She's like, what is he talking about? <laughs> that British judge on the end? <sighs> okay. Agents is links. Well, you, yeah, you can send me the link if you want to that whistle. But I, someone did tell me about, someone's like, oh, she can actually whistle. Oh, I haven't put this on a timer. How long do you think it's been? Four minutes, five minutes? Okay, Google, set the timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. And we're starting now. Even Google sounds, Google sounds deflated. Okay. <laughs> Kerry gave me a five dollar super chat. No more with the super <laughs> super chat, 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 chat. Teen top song, super love. Um, Genevieve says nailing it, Mitchell. Thank you. I had, I had to again sing it quietly. I'm sure I, I woke them up anyway, but yeah, I was trying to sing quietly, which is hard to do actually. Hard to do well for me. Um, hit the thumbs up for me. <laughs> Awesome, Mitch. Vegan. You went with the vegan. Oh, she's a vegan. Oh, do not do the homophobic. <laughs> Good choice, Julia. Julia says, I still have my vinyl and cassettes. It's awesome. That'd be a really good, good collection. I still have my CDs. Like, who cares about that? Maybe one day people, like, really be into CDs again. But I, I always kept my CDs, although not very well. Not great condition, but I always thought like I have like Destiny's Child say my name single, and I was like, this is going to be worth a lot of money one day. But I don't think it will. But I, I thought because I, I remember I once read like the Beatles. I don't know, but it has to be like I, I ended up finding out stuff as I got older, like what makes rare, what makes C CDs like be worth a lot of money, and it's things like like a CD that went for a lot of money was the say my name single, which was hardly opened by the way, and I opened mine all the time. And um, I should kind of mix this around, I guess. And um, I saw one that went for a lot of money, but it was, they said an example, it's like the Say My Name single from Brazil that was sent to like people as a promo single. Um, and it says like, it's a different cover. So you can tell it was a promo single and only like a very tiny amount got released. And that is worth even not a lot of money. It's like worth a couple of hundred though I saw ones so it's kind of like the nintendo games as well that were very popular at one point the nintendo 64 but the ones that make a lot of money are the ones that are like uh they were like gold and they have a like a certain label on them and it's because not many were sold that kind of thing so that's the kind of stuff that sells i mean i have the australian single but it was a number one song <laughs> so i'm sure a lot of people could probably dig one up but the yeah i kept them for a long time because i was like one day when i'm like 60 i can sell this in an antique store and like sell for so much money everyone else would be suckers and would be like you know throwing their cds in the bin i'll keep it <laughs> but i don't know now is the value of cds i just don't know maybe 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 cds will come back into like how vinyls are But now they say like vinyls actually have good quality, like the digital vinyls have really good quality music playing um, compared to CD plays and stuff. So it makes vinyl like extra popular. Um, <laughs> Genevieve, uns, 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 uns. Kerry says, oh yeah, I remember, stir the pasta. Yeah, you said. I, I don't know when you said that, I, but I probably noticed like afterwards.
oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. You're going to be like, what's happening? But it says when the pasta is done, I have to use tongs and drag it out and put it into the bowl with the, the salad um, that I made already because, and they said um, it's okay to let like some of the starchy water go in, it says. So, okay. And then we're, we're at the final stages once that happens, FYI. I think it's kind of done. I don't know. Hey, I'll let it go for the whole timer. Has the timer gone off? No. Julie says another, stop. Julie says another great Global Thursday, Mitchell. Thank you. Looking forward to the next. I'm, yeah, I want to do a vegetarian one. I hope you, you like this vegetarian one, Julia. Tonight's episode is dedicated to Julia. There's an, there'll be an official dedication in the credits. Maybe that's the thing I should start doing. Every episode I'll do a, de a formal dedication to Julia's, the, the dedication of episode one for season two. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I just keep the. I've been watching Saturday Night Live skits, like rabbit hole kind of YouTube videos, and there's this whole thing with like um, Pete Davidson, and he does a character. It's like, oh, what's the character's name now though? But he does this character where he's just like kind of nonchalant, like random guy, and they're like, like they do all these crazy things. Like, okay, <laughs> it's like he does. There's all these skits with him, and he's like, okay, okay. Every time I say okay, I think of that now. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just, this should be okay. I'll just make sure the bowl doesn't make. But I'll get the, the thongs. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to move. It's going to get hot though. Yes, this is enough statue water. My computer is so loud these days. I have to close a bunch of, um, I think I have a lot of uh, applications on. And I, I try to close a bunch and I'm like, I don't know what else to close. I want everything else up. The Adobe um, apps take up a lot of, like they just make a lot of processing. But this is a, a pretty brand new computer. Like it has a lot of processing speed, but still I got a lot of things open. So then what did it say? Just like toss it around, I guess it said. Yeah, I've never done it with just like the starch. Okay, toss. Okay, this is toss into all coated. Um, I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna move the thing back because it's better to do this back. Where we were at. And it said that the starchy water will like help loosen up 
everything. I can make sure things don't stick together. Is what it's saying. Okay, that's kind of it. But yeah, Ni Nigel's cooking would be Uncle Nigel would be very shocked that we're putting starch water in in our dish. Okay, I'm gonna. It's kind of hot, but I'll move it. I'll move you back, and I got to actually charge this. I completely forgot, but it's okay for now. I don't get this. <laughs> this is taking so much longer than the book said. <laughs> I should have used a blue bowl. I didn't realize just how large it was going to be, but I can't see the blue bowl. No blue mixing bowl. It did say to divide it. Might have to divide it. Just divide it into other bowls if you must to even out the thing, but I might have to just do that kind of thing now. Where's the blue bowl? Where's the blue bowl? Oh, it's here. <laughs> okay. What? I didn't expect it. Okay. I'm just going to. This is a much better bowl to put everything in. And this will be good now, actually, because you can see all the stuff on top of it better, like if I was a spaghetti. So what do you want? I'll just read the comments. Um, looking forward to the next. Julie okay, says, I agree. Julie says, thank you. Dish looks yummy. Woohoo, dedicated to Julia. Yay. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay. Julie says, I like it very much. Thank you so much for the veggie dish in dedication for me. A rainbow of colours. Yeah, it's very colory, this one. Oh, Mum wants to see, I think. Hi, Mum. I saw you taste test it. Oh, Mum's just seen me taste test. <laughs> That's a delay. Okay. How's it going? Good, I'm mixing. Oh, yeah. You've cooked the pasta. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. What do you use the core? The core? Mm. Instead of this one? Instead of this thing, maybe. Tongs in the core. It's the what claw. Did you do with this? Not yet. <laughs> you always want to know. Like, okay. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. I haven't forgotten. So that. you cooked all the tomato? Yes. Okay, well. They're nice coloured tomatoes, aren't they? 
Genevieve says, you're making me hungry, Mitchell. <laughs> Hi, Genevieve. That looks nice, mate. I had a taste test and tasted good. I know, I heard oh, you. Oh, you saw that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. It's like, it tasted like dressing. Like, I just didn't expect it. Okay, I think that's... What's that spaghetti like? It said to use some extra of the starch water to loosen it, but I put a lot of starch water in it, so. Mm. I just, you had to grab it out of the pad and transfer yeah. it, didn't you? Yeah. I saw that in there. And then what did it say? And then toss until well coated. It says divide between your bowls. Uh, Why? It must be if you're setting it up, you need to be. This is a big one. I'm kind of okay. Oh, yeah, like for serving. For serving. Okay. Yeah, I can just put in the big Italian bowl. Should I do that now? Yeah. Okay. You finished? Yeah. And then I have one more step. What do you have to do? <laughs> that one? Yeah. Or do you think you should wait and put that in when you eat it? No, because I'm. I'm doing this for the video, so I yeah. want it to look complete. It's okay. It'll be okay for a gerated like Yeah, I think so. This could be a nice lunch tomorrow, and salad and nice olive bread. My dad said this isn't a lunch meal. No, I think it is. Who thinks that this isn't a lunch meal I could have with people over? I think we could have some sourdough bread with Because Annie olive Jenny's dinner. coming over with her dog, Togo. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, just out of funny saying it like that. Dog Togo. Lulu's, uh, what is she? Uh, don't know. Oh, I know, but I, I don't know how to say it. It's a really a interesting breed. I think it's a Lugu. Look at that. It's Italian. Oh. Yeah, so it goes with tonight's We can feed some well. to Lulu as well. Yeah. Get a little doggy bowl to, to give to Lulu. She's a truffle hunting dog. And she's also a therapy dog. Wow. Got her certificates for being a therapy dog, learning to hunt. Nursing homes cool. and things to visit people. Okay. Well, Mitch, that looks really yum. Um, What's everyone and think? The final looking final good. Jennifer says, hi, Leanne. Carrie says, yummy. Julia says, looks delicious, Mitchell. I think you've done well. Do you think this is powdered enough? Yeah. Did you just do something? No. Oh, got it. All right, final step, the dust. Oh, the magic dust. Oh, this is the pizza. pizza the Take that, pistachios. That was the quote of the day from Genevieve. That was when you were kids, that was Lachlan's favourite nuts, pistachio. I don't think I ever had it for quite a while. He used to love pistachio nuts. I, I like love the green. Do you know what's nice? Pistachio ice cream. You should try that. Mm. Gelato, pistachio. I think I've gelato. had pistachio. I had that gelato. in Rome. Oh, yum. Oh, that's look. I like that. I'd have a taste, but I'm pretty full after our dinner tonight. Today, hmm. courtesy of Brian. Okay, there's some nuts, so it's all right. Guess I'll leave it there for decoration. All right. I think I should out. No, because that's not. He can do his own Google Thursdays if he wants. <laughs> I think I'll take a picture and a video of this for my stories. To get some some eyes on Global Thursday, but <laughs> I feel like we're a community now that we're like we don't want any new people anyway. I'll tell you What's what that? I bought at the free What did market. you buy? I bought <laughs> these lovely sugar plums. Mum's giving me a test. Stink eye. 
giving him the blue steel look. <laughs> okay. Genevieve, do you, Genevieve, do you know why I was doing <laughs> Mom's like, like, what are you doing? Plum fairy dance? Yeah, dancing, yeah. The, dancing, the yeah, dancing sugar plum. Yeah. Not totally insane. <laughs> what I remember once mom was talking to me and then I started singing a song. She goes, oh, not everything's a song. <laughs> All I can say is God help your maths teacher at school. Miss Pan. Yeah, I think you used to Number sing. eight. Oh. You sang all the time. Oh, nice sugar plums. See, look at inside it. No one can see. Yeah, have a little look. No one can see. Yeah, look. Nice. Ah, Genevieve said I'm singing it now, see? Mm, it's I'm addictive, not... isn't it, Jen? <laughs> now, um, I saw that Genevieve got a really nice comment from a customer. Yeah, she shared an old customer service review. Yeah, that was very good. And I think nice. I can share it because it Genevieve like put a comment. That? Yeah. Because people say bad things all the time. Oh, so yeah. It's, nice it's so much. Nice comment. Honestly, people, it's a lot of work to put out a good, a good review or a good comment. Um, a good critique of some yeah. uh, business. And they don't have to, and most people. People go out of their way to do that. Well, I'm loving what I'm looking at now. And those tomatoes just look divine. Once I do a, the different colors. I'll put this on my stories, and then after that you can have a taste if you want. The colours are looking great. Yeah, that's good. I like it. The multicoloured tomatoes. A bit mm. dearer to buy. Really? But, How much? Oh, one of those punnets, that bigger one of the mixed, I think was about $6.50. I'll take the um, dressing that's in there, but I'll save that for later. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Did you use all the tomatoes? And that look great to see Woolworths coming to the party with these Rona tomatoes in really nice. Um, we do not endorse Woolworths. Oh, other sorry. supermarkets are available. You can get it at other places, but they're starting to put everything in a bit of paper recycling, but we've still got the no one can see on the front either. They've still got the plastic wrap on the front, but they're at least putting it in a nice recycled. So good to see. Did you use this? I used a bunch. Of that? Yeah. I looked, I didn't know how much that was a bunch. a bunch. Oh, I looked it up online and it said, and I asked Google and it said a, a bunch is an average of 12 stems. Oh, well, there you go. So I, I put 12 stems in. That's but then fun. Kerry said the more, um, more, which is, more is better. We always say that when it comes to parsley and things. But you don't want to add, they have a certain measurement, I guess. No, you can but. cut some up and put on it fresh. Which might be nice when you serve it, I guess. Yeah. Um, Pretty bad when the vegetable being. Genevieve said there's a song for every occasion. And Genevieve, I was going to share with you because Genevieve shared with us here that she's got um, uh, a trial at an Italian restaurant on Sunday. Oh, well done, Jen. So she said this is all very exciting to look at Italian stuff tonight. Oh, yes. And while we're talking about nice fresh produce. <laughs> what? Nice, my favorite thing just about the whole this world. This isn't ready, it's steady, cook. Capsicum. <laughs> show us, just show us, to say that, show us what you got, Leanne. Well, this capsicum, a mm. few last a week ago, was twelve ninety nine a kilo. Can you believe that? But no, today reduced to I think it was about six dollars. I think so about a, a on ready, steady, cook. I'll be like, I got this. Mm. And then I got white chocolate. It, it always comes with white chocolate. They do use a lot of white chocolate, don't they? They always take stuff that they come and then the, the chef's like, hmm, I've got something swirling in my mind right now. Just let me think about it while you get to the next because I used to watch that show all the time. Okay. So I'm sorry to say that I had to buy oh. some beautiful fresh basil. Oh, it's pronounced basil. It's basil. Um, Kerry Ray actually grows <laughs> some nice fresh basil. I'm not very good at growing basil. Okay, I should end this, I guess, because well, this is fine. <laughs> what is it? Um, Did you show the things on your on Genevieve your said thank you, haha. -ha. Oh yeah, I should show you my socks. I guess it was for the occasion. This one is is not as obvious. See if anyone can recognize mm -hmm. and work it out. Okay, and then I'll show you the other thing. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring the whole thing to the show, sure. Oh. Should I? Or should I just surprise people? Just surprise as one goes. Okay. So I've got Sock Song. 
So what happens here with this? Is that done? I'm showing my socks. I'm going to put the claw in and all ready to serve. Oh, yes. Get a bit of a sock cam going there. Ring, like ring. Wendy, Wendy Williams. Williams. Shoe, Shoe cam. Ring. Ring. So they were, it's an Italian flag sock, but they're in dot seasons. Like, they're um, just colours. The colours of the flag. Yeah, red, white, and green. I think they're pretty groovy. Happy socks. Yeah, that was from Mum for Christmas. So, yeah, Julie said, loving the socks, Mitchell. Jennifer said, this has been entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie said, yay, Jennifer. Okay. Oh, what's the spoon doing? Oh, do that? The claw. I just put it in there to oh, look no. authentic. That would not do. Serve. I've got to take do you know a what? photo. I had a beautiful um, metal one of these, a nice silver one, but it got lost one year at Christmas. I suspect it got taken to someone's house and didn't get returned to me. Oh, the shade. Mm. I'll shame them. Well, do I'll claw shame them. I will ask this much. Did you like your Italian? Welcome to watch what happens live, did Leanne. You, did you say that? You're a, you're little... Do you have an idea of who it was? I do. Oh, I, scandal. I um, like the look Italian colour scheme. Mm. Genevieve gets it's the claw. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought Genevieve would, might get that reference when I said that. Mm. It's the claw. I don't get that. <laughs> you, you went to the movies with me to see oh, that. Yes, yes. 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 Who stars in it? I don't know. Oh. Who? Vague remember. Vague I have no idea. It's got Abby from ER in it. Abby from ER. I don't I'm know her actual know. name. I should know. What's her um, name? Did you tell the story about the lights? No, but oh. everyone likes it, so it was good. And it's got two. Did you see I know. that? Everyone it's voted. Time. People voted this one. Okay. You should tell the story of your lights. It's handmade, I said. Thanks. So, yeah, Voila. that's it. Okay, I'm going to say goodnight to everyone so everyone can go. Have a good day um, to Julia and Adrian. I think Adrian's gone. Oh, Adrian's on. But he left. Um, he, he, can't, he does a pop-in. And uh, <laughs> No, so stop it, Genevieve. Stop it. Easily made for a lovely lunch. Genevieve and I have been in sync room. with many things. Tonight? Oh. Today and this, this week kind of, haven't we? But... Yeah, and it's the chorus from the movie Liar Liar. Remember oh, that? Oh, I hate. <laughs> and your no, mum hates I don't. Him. I actually don't mind it. I thought you were going to say yes, man. Oh, I like it. Yes, man. Like, no, I watched that on the plane to LA when I was eighteen. I remember that. But um, li yeah, Liar Liar was okay. But there was an awkward like sex scene in it when I was like watching it when I was ten or something. I cannot remember that. Like it wasn't sex scene, but they played like an audio and they were like, oh, like making noises and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> but this is the wrong channel for that ritual. <laughs> um, what was I going to say though? So Can I have I a little say, taste? No, I'm going to take a photo. I'm going to take a photo. Let me take a photo. Yeah, I'm going to some nice no, coloured no, no, ones no, no, on top. No, 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 no. Do not invade oh, okay, so this thing. Shall I go back to bed? No, but I want to take a photo first. I'm watching a really good Netflix special. What's it called? Mm. <laughs> Carrie's gone. Bye, all. Bye, Carrie. What's it called, the Netflix special? I always forget. Who, what's it about? Someone might be watching it already. No, it's about a, an American president. An American mm. president. Um, I hate in, in, I can't remember. Julia says bye for now to Team Global Thursday. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye Genevieve. Everyone. Bye, See Julia. Bye, Kara. Bye, well. everyone, for watching. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week, episode two. Bye. Uh... Buongiorno. No, you may not. You may not. Buongiorno. <laughs>